So hi everyone, uh, congratulations to all those who have come up with the flying colors in this NEET PG exam. And uh, I know there are a lot of students who are planning for uh, opting surgery as a career. So today I am here to discuss with you what are the odds and events of surgery as a branch, how you perceive the life as a surgeon. So welcome you all, those who don't know me, I am Dr. Saurabh Dixit, I am practicing laparoscopic and robotic surgeon from New Delhi. So today I am going to discuss a lot of important things. The first thing is why you want to be a surgeon. Should I be opting for surgery as a branch sir? Is surgery good for me? The answer is only one. You want to be a surgeon because you are a born surgeon. You born surgeon doesn't mean that you know everything. The surgical instinct has to be there. That motivation to take surgery at all cost should be there. If you are still in doubt that you want to perceive surgery as a branch or you pursue surgery as a branch, I think this is not a branch for you. In this five years of you can say uh, MBBS life, you would have gone to lot of times, you would have gone to the operation theatre and that is sufficient to insti you can say to, to f enlighten that spirit that you want to become a surgeon or no. So you love surgery, that is why you should be going for surgery. If you are going for surgery just because your rank has permitted you or your rank is in a window that you've got marks which are sufficient to give you surgery as a branch, this is absolutely wrong. You have to be in love with this branch because this is a branch which demands a lot of endurance. Endurance in term of physical agility also, endurance in term of patience also. Because it's not that very easy branch. Like if you compare to the other para surgical branches like if you talk about uh, dermatology if you talk about radiology the day you are out of this uh, you can say out of the medical college you start earning you join some corporate centers and you start earning a decent amount but this is not the case with surgery when you are out of the surgery you are, you are out of the surgery residency your actual real phase of hardship starts you need to prove your metal and then only the world will acknowledge you as a surgeon. Okay, your degree says that you are a surgeon, but the world still has not acknowledged you as a surgeon. And that is not dependent on your age. You can be an excellent surgeon at a young age also, and you can pass your whole life like an average surgeon working in some center. So in order to, you can say, sharpen your skill, you have to have a lot of patience. Because in the early days when you see that the output that you are getting is disproportionately less than the input that you are putting in actually harasses a lot harasses a lot like uh, I, I i still remember the days when i started with the career and um, you know in small centers you get only two to three thousand or at max four thousand for a laparoscopic cholecystectomy or an appendicectomy but that is a time that you have to hold your nerves you have to believe okay boss one fine day i will also be a great surgeon and that is the spirit that you should always keep your self enlightened with because that is going to fetch you now today i am having my two centers i am running two hospitals and i have a clientele which is ready to pay me even 1.5 lakhs for a lab cholecystectomy you will not believe because many centers don't even charge like this this is my time this is my demand this is my surgical expertise but this my takes a lot of time you need to prove yourself in that phase you need to be patient in that and that is the time when actually most of you break down most of you don't have that level of endurance and then you start getting frustrated oh my god why did i take surgery as a branch you know when you become a doctor you guarantee a minimum level of respect for yourself every branch every branch you take it any branch you have that respect but respect plus swag this is only there in one branch and that is surgery imagine those scrubs which you don and you go for surgery and when you come out your hands may be smeared with the blood and then you show a thumbs up to the patient's attendant that okay your patient is fine or you meet with the patient and say oh how are you he says a lot relieved that swag 
that flamboyancy that is created you will not get in any branch any branch means any branch this is only possible in surgical branches then one very important thing that you all have to understand that this is a late settling branch why because majority of the places now the demand are specialist so if you want to settle in a tier 1 city you have to have some level of super specialization and that takes a lot of time because three years of surgical residency and then three years of speciality training actually requires a lot of efforts of yours and that is the time when many of you decide okay let me go for some terminal branches like ms orthopedics or md radio diagnosis that after three years i'm settled down so one thing that you have to understand that you have to show your patience in term of your learning also because even after the six years of residency no one guarantees you that you will be an excellent surgeon do you know to have an assessment of a surgery at least you should have done 10 to 15 cases of that similar nature then only you can decide that okay i can do this surgery well i can be an expert in doing these surgeries i have seen that in order to expertise a surgery you need at least 100 surgeries and you know these initial 100 surgeries the phase is very long because no one wants to get operated from a young surgeon because it's at the end of the day in surgery a small error or a big error the answer is the cost of life so many people don't promote the young surgeons and many institutions also but you should not fall into that you can say trap you should show your patience because one fine day you will also come up to that level if you are surgically sound, if your skills are good, no one can stop you from ruling this world. And remember, if you are passionate about surgery, sky is the branch. So there has to be a motivation. I always see, I always say this in my classes also. I, whenever students come to me, I said you have to be obsessed about this branch. Without obsession, you cannot pursue surgery. Surgery has to be your first love. Surgery has to be your first priority. Surgery has to be your religion. Surgery has to be your duty. And surgery has to be a morale. Then only you can become a surgeon. If you have a slightest of doubt in this, don't pursue surgery. You have to think every time about the outcome. Not about the pain that you have gone through, but the outcome. It may be in the middle of the night, a patient comes and you get a call from the hospital, sir, I think there is a perforated appendix or there is an acute appendicitis. You may, be ha you, you may have been through a very tormenting day previously, last 24 hours might be very tormenting and busy. You cannot say no, why? Because it may be a matter of sleep for you for 15, 20 or half an hour or maybe two hours. But do you know this could be a cost of life? So you cannot say no. Then there is a big question with the students often come up with, with young surgeons come up with, with young st medical students come up with, Sir, I am a female, should I go for surgery? Now, if you see the trend, in the earlier days, if you go back to the history, surgery was a very masculine, you can say, masculine type of branch. A lot of physical ability was used. But now, in this era of 2022, I am saying, we have become more sophisticated more advanced, technically more sound and if you talk about tissue handling it has become more soft now. We are using high end machines where the physical ability is not required, where the technical maneuvers are required and that is the place where even females can do lot better than males. So those who are having a confusion that should a female be perceiving or you can say should a female be pursuing for surgery residency the answer is absolutely yes there is no foundations to that you can easily go for that branch and it is going to give you a satisfactory return return always doesn't mean the return in terms of finance because a lot of females have a notion or a lot of parents have a notion that if you're a girl you have to become a gynecologist ultimately gynecology gynecology is also a surgical branch 
but you may not be happy you may want you may be interested in general surgery you want to pursue laparoscopic surgery you want to pursue pediatric surgery or plastic surgery so don't refrain from joining it's an it is having in an endless you can say options endless you can say opportunity and you'll never feel regret again one very important thing is that sir what should be my approach towards the city selection where should i settle down the fun thing that you have to understand is settling in a tier 2 tier 3 city versus settling in a tier 1 city there are a lot of differences it's very easy to settle down in a tier 2 or tier 3 city because the patient doctor ratio is disproportionately you can say uh, high there are a lot of patients in comparison to per doctor ratio but if you talk about big cities there are big names already existing and also the doctor patient ratio is well guided well under the control so there it is a surgical skill which can take you up and thus the incubation period the time taken for you to settle down is relatively more but do you know whenever there is a complicated case whenever there is something which is more than you unusual more than usual a tier 2 city will say i'll go to tier 1 city so the level of branding that you will get in a big city you can never match with a tier 2 tier 3 city financially it may be more lucrative in tier 2 tier 3 city but name and fame is also very important so i've seen lot of people discouraging youngsters who come to big cities and they say ki okay go for a tier 2 tier 3 it's okay it's fine because they have seen that part but let me tell you if you have that surgical competency you can excel anywhere and in big cities once you make the name the fame will come as a collateral the money will come as a collateral and your surgical expertise will also improve why because the variety of cases that you get is totally different so as a whole in a summary i would say surgery is an excellent branch you can safely pursue that the only thing that you have to keep in mind that yes you should be devoted to do surgery your residency phase is the most important phase don't think about mch i have seen students start in preparing don't 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 waste your time first learn because learning surgery is the most important and learning surgery means what to cut what not to cut and when not to cut once you're out of this medical college phase once your residency is over no one is going to tell you these things and a wrong decision can be a blind spot on your career in surgery the problem is if the name goes the fame and the money also goes the second point that i would summarize is don't run away from the hard work because today you will do a hard work you are young enough to do tomorrow the results are going to be what awesome awesome results you are going to get and the third is time is never the coefficient of happiness and so is money so if you want to become a surgeon yes you will have to spend some time but the end results are going to always make you happy in case of any further query you can always come meet me at my hospital and i will be always there to guide you personally thank you